Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters for this July 2nd, 2015. It's Basic Sorgonomics. I'm going to talk about my drive-in experience. Uh, the show, I mean, it's really just whatever I want to talk about. Yeah, it's been kind of my opinions on social media and technology lately, but um, but it really was just kind of me talking about life in general. If you go back into the archives of this, back when it used to be a different show, etc., um, and that's certainly going to be the case in a few weeks when I uh, return to the Gathering the Juggalos, for instance, um, which is just a cool, cool experience for me. Uh, but anyways, uh, today, like I said, uh, check out uh, Sorgatron.com for uh, signing up for the newsletter, for uh, past posts, uh, my, my weekly uh, newsle- newsletter blog post, and, and stuff like that. And uh, last night I went to Dependable Drive-In, which is a place that I've heard about probably for about a decade at this point, and for whatever reason, just never made it to. Um, I'd always, uh, whenever I'd have a free night, you know, say, oh, maybe I can get out there. What's playing? Okay, nothing's playing. Or or, or it rains, or something like that. You know, and and, and it just never seems to work out as, as busy as things get during the summer, you know, with my shooting schedule and everything, uh, to find that, that time. Now, I am in the midst of Bachelor Week, and I'll probably talk about this a couple of times here uh, during this week. I got a couple of recordings in here. And I tend to do things differently when 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 the lady is away. Uh, Missy's out in California, and I think she's on the Periscope right now, hanging out with her her folks out there. And I just kind of see if I remember how to live by myself for a, for, for for a few days. Um, this happens every year or two uh, for one, once in a while, and we 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 see if I can survive on my own. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> um, but anyways. Um, so no, so I got to go to the Dependable Drive-In, and, and like I said, this is a place that I've heard of for a while, and I love the drive-in. I do. Um, I, I, I love going, and, and and I kind of well, we've got somebody in Periscope uh, from China, and I wonder if there's any drive-ins out there. I, I, it's probably a very American thing, um, perhaps. But uh, basically, uh, the drive-in movie theater experience. You know, you know, back in the day, it used to be you'd have the speaker that you. You put on your uh, uh, car window, and that's how a ro- how you roll with the with the music, and not the great audio experience, certainly. But uh, between having a newer car that we've had in the past year, uh, so I know I have a good sound system. You know, as good as a car stereo, uh, 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 you know, a, a standard car stereo uh, system can be. So I'm like, we're good there, as long as these guys, these guys don't have a projector that sucks. Uh, we're we're good to go. So I couldn't pass up uh, the, the the double header of uh, Terminator that just came out this week, as well as uh, uh, Jurassic World that's been out for a few weeks for you know the single price that you're going to pay. It's only like I think it was seven fifty to go watch both of these movies versus I would pay double that if I went to a regular theater at peak hours uh, for just one of them. And there were movies that I wasn't completely invested in that I'm like, I have to watch this in the theater with the DTS sound, with the with the digital projector, sitting in that sweet spot in the middle uh, of the theater. I need that experience for this movie. That's something I like for the Marvel movies, that uh, very explodey movies. I feel like uh, Fast and the Furious, I'd want to watch that way. But these are ones like, I'd like to see them. But I'm okay. So I decided that this would be a nice experiment. Now this place, if you go search, uh, do a Google search for for dependable drive-in, it is the most absolute late '90s website that you will ever see. Uh, I've I've hardly seen a drive-in website, a uh, drive-in movie theater website that looks like it's been updated in the last 15 years. I mean, other than the information that's on it, which. To be honest, to me, that's part of the charm. I mean, they have Facebook, they have Twitter, but they still have animated GIFs. Um, uh, uh, props to... Uh, actually, they've, they've lessened the animated GIFs. I remember dancing hot dogs on the site that I don't think are there anymore. So this is a four-screen. This is like a, a drive-in movie theater multi-megaplex in the long run. <laughs> uh, but no, they have four screens. I was reading the... I didn't, I didn't see it, but they, they have a mini golf there over at screen one. Uh, so, so you have a lot of... You have a lot of um, um, choice uh, going in there if you live in the area. And on top of that, down the road, uh, the other side of the airport, down in Robinson, uh, there's actually another movie theater that I think has itself another two screens. So so there's variety if you're in the, the west of, of Pittsburgh here in the area. Uh, let's check that out. Now, let's say the ending experience was great. Uh, this I, I've only been to uh, more recently... 
uh, a movie theater up in western New York, and uh, which is, has been an all right experience and everything. Uh, and and I had been turned off of of going to movie theaters a lot lately. Uh, ever since back when the Hulk movie come out, came out, not Edward Norton, but the old um, uh, Ang Lee, I think, is the uh, director of that one. Uh, the first big CG Hulk that we ever saw in theaters. I remember promotions around that involving green ketchup, and I have some stories about that too. Uh, but anyways, when you eat that much green food coloring, to make, that'll turn a red ketchup into a green. Uh, you, other things will turn green too. But anyways, so but but I was so turned off by it because it was such a dark movie, and I don't think. I think it was paired with maybe an X Men movie or something like that. Um, but I don't think it was a good experience because the movie one was bad, uh, two was uh, dark and and just it did didn't work right. Uh, I didn't experience any of that problem here. Uh, I thought the picture was great. I wish I was a little closer. It was bigger. Uh, this actually a very smart move by uh, this theater where the, they'll tell you roughly where to park. Like I have a. I guess a mid-size SUV, uh, basically, the, that I'm driving into this place. I didn't take the big one, or I have to go away in the back. And I don't think I don't think it's the bigger of the screens that they had there. And it just felt like it was forever away. And I'm just back by mostly by the concession stand. And uh, I, I just wish I had a little bit of bigger picture going on. But still, it, it looked great. It had no problems. Um, I, I rolled my windows up so I don't have to worry about uh, listening to other people doing whatever ridiculous stuff, you know, which has been a big complaint lately. The last couple movies I've gone to, uh, a lot of kid problems, and especially in movies that really probably shouldn't have had kids of a certain age in it. Uh, looking at you, Avengers, inside out, you know, hey, you're, you're going to have what you're going to have, you know. Um, kids are going to be asking questions. It's a complex movie, guys. But um, but no, that was nice because I got to have a little bit of a solitary experience when it comes to that. Uh, Open up the the moon roof and, and let some air in, you know, and 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 it was really cool. Uh, there was, you know, of course, people with headlights driving through like the entire time, going from one screen to the other, or or deciding to who goes to a movie and leaves in the last ten minutes. Really, you're gonna beat beat traffic for leaving Terminator? Are you kidding me? I it just that that just blows my mind. But I think the people that want to beat traffic when they paid the money for a, a, a pirates game is absolutely insane too. Yeah, but uh, that's a whole other podcast. Maybe that'll be tomorrow's podcast. Um, <laughs> if I'm if I'm still hot about it when I go to record that. Uh, but but anyways, but no, I love the experience. Want to go back? I'm sure I will never find time. Uh, in coordinated schedules with other people and everything else uh, through the rest of the summer to end up there. It was really nice. They had a Wednesday night showing. So since, I mean, I'm fairly not a nine to five person because this is what I do. Uh, so I just went ahead and did it. And I thought that was uh, uh, fantastic. You know, um, I would caution, like for me, I would probably not go to see Ant-Man. I probably not to go to see Fantastic Four. Um, I would probably go to see, like, I think one of the pairings was Ted 2 and Spy, right? Like a comedy movie, you know, it's not something that's a high action. Because even even though the picture was very good, um, I, I, I'm picky about my picture. I'm, I'm, I'm a video guy. I, I, that's where I'm at with that. Um, but it, it, even though the picture was very good, there were certain points in some of the fight scenes, especially like the Terminator on Terminator action that was going on there, where, where it gets a little over the top and ridiculous because they're supposed to be cyborgs fighting. Um, I, I lost I lost uh, what was going on for the most part. Uh, but it, And I feel like if I was like up close in a, in a digital projector movie theater, I, I probably might have had the same problem too, but it was probably because I just felt so tiny and so far away uh, that, that that was a problem too. So... Uh, let me know what you thought. Do you go to the, the movie theater? Do you even have a drive-in theater? I know mean, a lot of them. I, I feel like some of them kind of resurrected on nostalgia over the last uh, five to ten years. And, uh, you know, so many closing down. I don't know how many times the one back home in the uh, in the transfer hermitage area uh, era um, has had a for sale sign on it for so long or so many times. Right. And I don't know if it's just changing hands, what's going on there, but ah, it is what it is. Let me know. What do you think about driving theaters? Do you like to hit that up? Um, do you want to do anything else? Uh, let me know. And uh, I'm at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Check out Sorgatron.com. Again, please, please sign up to the newsletter so you can check out everything going around here. I got some other uh, kind of uh, creator tips and everything going on. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. 
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.